So act of war, I mean, that's, uh, I mean, can't get much worse than that. So what are we going to do about it? Well, there's many things I think we have to do uh, about it. And first and foremost, we've got to admit that they uh, interfered with our election. So we still have a president who's denying it or is unwilling to come forward and say full on that this was, in, he, in fact, an unprecedented act that needs to be uh, responded to. Well, what do you make of uh, former Secretary Jay Johnson saying that, uh, that it waited until October to go public with this? Well, I asked him about that. He, you know, actually had a call with all of the Secretary of State's and local election departments in August, August 15th, and talked about hacking going on, but he didn't specify that it was Russia, and it was you know, set in terms that you could easily have just ignored. And I think that there was a chilling effect on the Obama administration to take the kind of action they should have taken because Donald Trump during the campaign for months and months kept saying the election's rigged, the election's rigged. And they were fearful that somehow it would look like they were being partisan. All right. Well, and one of the suggestions to uh, Secretary Johnson is that is that he contacted the DNC and that didn't want help. Um, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who used to be the chairperson of DNC, says she was never contacted. She would have welcomed uh, welcome help if she had gotten. I talked to other officials at the DNC who likewise claim that one of them said it was a bald-faced lie that they didn't even get any letter that there that there was a problem until sometimes in August. So, what's going on at uh, at your DNC? Well, I actually talked to Debbie Wasserman Schultz today as well, because after I heard uh, from uh, Jay Johnson, I wanted to hear from her whether or not there was ever an effort to ask for the server so that the FBI could investigate. She says, no, no one ever even asked for the server, and there was no help provided. Putting that aside, Well, that's uh, let's not insignificant. Wait, wait, that's not insignificant, though. Here you have a major political party who's getting hacked, and so with the integrity of our election, we've got a former uh, cabinet secretary, DHS, saying that they were notified, and that's no one's doing There's a lot of who's on first when we've got Putin trying to do something with our election system. So it's not insignificant. Well, it's, it's a who, he's a he said, she said right now. The problem is that Russia is going to continue to hack into our systems. They have now gone into our voting records. Um, I think that you could argue that there have been a way for them to get to the absentee votes themselves. They all said that, no, that the vote tallies were never impacted. They will come back, and they're going to come back with a vengeance. So we have got to be willing to um, create some system so that all the states at least have the kinds of election systems and machines that are going to be fail safe. All right. Here's what I don't understand is that it said all these intelligence agencies says it's Putin and everyone everyone I hear says Putin. I don't have any first hand knowledge. I'm just relying on everything that everybody is saying. Meanwhile, we really haven't taken any steps against Russia. And I'm not blaming you, but in the in the Senate they that they finally passed something sanctions against Russia and it, it I don't know if it's ever going to make it to the floor of the house and uh, and the president is denying that it happened and meanwhile we're having a elections going on. We had two yesterday. So actually sanctions were imposed by President Obama at the end of uh, December and then they were they had many of their operatives kicked out of the United States and their dashes um, retaken. Uh, of course we've been hearing that President uh, Trump wants to return these active espionage spying operations in Maryland and in New York uh, back to the Russians. That would be outrageous if he were to move ahead on that. So uh, we have to impose more sanctions. Um, we we also have to call on the president who said 90 days after he was uh, president that he would have a cyber plan in place. We have not heard another word about that. Uh, do you expect to have a vote in the House on sanctions or is this sort of just going to sort of languish? Well, what do you think, Retta? My sense is it's it's probably not going to happen in the House until or unless um, there are um, it, you know more defining um, results that come out of these various investigations. Well, then we're just coddling Russia as they as Putin as he as he willy dilly goes into our uh, election if that's if that's what uh, you know some want. But uh, anyway, the, maybe that's just me. Anyway, Congressman, thank you. Thank you. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.